year. Our next guest says it's uh, time for the central bank to stop raising rates. Joining us now is Judy Shelton, a former Federal Reserve Board nominee. She's currently a senior fellow at the Independent Institute. Uh, Judy, it's good to, uh, good to have you on. And I've got to warn you that, that I'm kind of feeling um, half full. Uh, and I know normally I'm 100 percent full <laughs> of something, but I'm kind of feeling half full that maybe there's some type of, of fine uh, line the Fed can walk and, and we might get out of this. Um, in other words, inflation seems to be moderating. We're not going to 21 and a half percent on the prime rate like we did, you know, back with, with people still bring that that period up. And I don't know if there's any parallels at all in the economy. You know, how many times have there been recession predictions where the, the economy just resists? Resist the slowdown. Consumers resist that. And, and maybe that could happen this time around with inflation moderating. Am I just Pollyanna? No, I, I think there are reasons to be positive. If you have the lowest unemployment rate at 3.5% in, in history, and, um, and you have strong or at least consistent aggregate demand, and you're getting some economic growth, these are all good things. And I don't think that um, low unemployment is inflationary. I don't think real growth is inflationary. And I just wish that the Fed would let the economy equilibrate. I wish the Fed would quit trying to manhandle and steer the economy, because I think that it's, it's very positive when people are producing goods and providing services. And so for the Fed to be targeting a higher unemployment rate as their means to slow down growth and that that's their approach to fighting inflation. I think inflation's coming down in spite of the Fed. Yeah. And I would rather they quit manhandling the right. economy. Well, they, they, they might get saved in spite of themselves. That, that I guess that was my point, <laughs> because like we're getting, you know, five historically doesn't seem that restrictive. It's coming from much lower levels. I'm talking about like Fed funds. But if we knew that that was going to do the trick or for whatever reason, it, they perceive that they've done the trick, it may have done it on its own. Uh, but that leaves us in a position with a pretty strong economy and very low unemployment. I don't know. Is, is a mild recession guaranteed in your view, Judy? I think so. I think that by pressing it further, that the Fed is risking that. I think it would have been better to, to stop and just coast for a while and let the economy adjust. The worst of all worlds is when the Fed says, well, let's just go a little higher to prove that we're vigilant about inflation because we messed up. And so now they overcorrect. And then the market starts thinking, well, now it means they're going to have to lower it again a couple times this year. Just quit helping us. The Fed needs to just let the cost of capital be determined by demand and supply let market forces decide what it should be. Uh, when, when I say they're manhandling, I, I mean, I'm no feminist. What I'm saying is rule of law versus rule of men. And the 12 people who are on the Monetary Policy Committee making these decisions about what the interest rate should be, I think, are, are setting themselves up with a certain amount of hubris as if they know more than the people who are actually in the real economy.